In the first video I will demonstrate how to install Forms Designer and create forms for multiple content types. Download setup file from our website and run it under the local administrator. Your account also has to have a farm administrator permission. Next. Next. Here please select site collections where you wish to design forms. Next. Finish. Now let's create a new list of issues. Go to the List tab of the ribbon. Here you can find a New Design Form button. In SharePoint 2010, this button has a drop-down menu with the list of content types. In SharePoint 2013, you can choose Content Type in Forms Designer window. Here. Here you can select Group of Users for which you design forms. I will talk in detail about this functionality in the next videos. In this drop-down menu, you can select the type of the form. You can create different forms for new edit and display modes. You can design the same form for all types and then make changes for a specific one. Here, in the Save menu, you can select types of the form for which you wish to save the designed form. By default, only the current type is selected. Let's design the form. In the left side, there are controls at the top and fields below them. Just drag them into the central panel. Let's add a tab control and create three tabs General, Resolution, and Attachment. Put the title and the due date fields at the top. Now we put the table into the first tab and distribute fields in this table. We place comments and related issues fields in the second tab and attachments field in the third one. If you click any control, you will see its properties grid. Here you can change the size and positioning of the title, make the field read only, define extra CSS styles, etc. We can change the positioning of the title related to the field. Let's place it at the top. Join two cells into one of the description and hide its title. Hide the title of attachments field. Now let's create an issue and see our designed form.
Here is our edit form. To reset form to its default state, you have to click Reset button in Forms Designer ribbon. and close it without saving. As you can see, the form has been returned to its initial state. In the next video, I will demonstrate how to make a form dynamic with Forms Designer JavaScript Framework. Thank you!